Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it and I hope everyone had a safe New Year celebration. Today, for those of you who are single and looking, we're going to find out who will you be in your next relationship with. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, Pisces, spirits and angels, please show me. Who will Pisces be in your next relationship with? Show me more. Okay, looks like both of you are supposed to be a true match. Queen of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles. Um, either both of you are going to be working together or you could be meeting this person at work or that both of you are going to be building a very stable relationship, stable life together. Okay, it's just not love. It feels like it has more to that. Um, building a future together for sure. King and the queen here. This person may be a Virgo, Capcom, Taurus. I feel like this person is also very generous. Six of Pentacles. Some of you Pisces, you may have already met this person, and for some of you, you haven't yet. Okay, if you haven't met this person, it will not resonate with you at all. <laughs> so um, just bear that in mind. Six of Pentacles can indicate somebody very generous or somebody who likes to do charity, uh, encourage people, support people, give people advice. And Page of Pentacles here is in reverse. However, I feel like Pisces, this person, although they are kind, very generous, but easily being taken advantage from, okay, of. <laughs> Some, this person has been taken advantage of uh, because of their generosity. So they always have people around them who would either make use of them. I definitely see that. And even with the two of cups here and with the three of swords here, it feels like they've been hurt by people. It could be a friend also. I'm seeing their exes in a relationship. Um, they definitely have been taken advantage of due to their kindness and generosity, okay? And six of swords here for me can indicate that you this person may be living far away from you or you have to cross the sea to be with this person or to meet this person. We've got the page of one. So this is another energy that could um, indicate travel or, or um, explore. I feel like um, if you're open to exploring Pisces and of course this reading is only for those of you who are single and also you are if you are looking okay there are people who are single and they're not looking then that's this is not the reading for you but I feel like with the Knight of Wands here it's gonna happen pretty soon but it feels like six of swords to cross that that water cross that sea it feels like it's not gonna be easy i feel like there could be some obstacles within this relationship but i feel like it's um, but i feel like it, it will be soft if there are any issues within the connection or if it's a long distance relationship some of it could be a long distance relationship that's definitely what i'm seeing here um but with the king and the queen in upright position, I feel like both of you will agree upon something, okay? And it's solid, and it feels like it is a long-term relationship. Let's see more. Okay, Six of Cups. I know some of you don't want to hear this, but Six of Cups can indicate somebody from your past returning. Some of you, maybe you are going to start a new relationship with somebody you've had a relationship with in the past. If it's not that, Six of Cups could indicate somebody you've already known before, okay? Could be a friend, or could be somebody you've worked with before, or somebody you've come across, mutual friend, but somebody you've known before in the past. That's just for some of you. If that's not the case, Six of Cups can also indicate a soulmate connection. So perhaps when you meet this person, for those of you, if you haven't met this person yet, when you meet this person, you're going to feel really comfortable. You're going to feel like yeah, somebody really kind. Kindness is definitely there. Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups here. This person is very kind and I feel like they're quite innocent and this is why they get taken advantage of. But they've got a good job. I see that. If if not, Queen of Pentacles also can indicate somebody whom is you know, good with taking care of their home, okay? So they keep their home very clean, very pristine, and they have a very stable character as well. And they like to be very grounded. 
and humble. I feel like this person is very humble as well. We've got the Ace of Cups and the Hangman in reverse. The Ace of Cups is a true love energy for me. This person may be a true love. This person may love you almost unconditionally. Or Aces indicates a new beginning. So you'll be starting this uh, relationship with this person. And I feel like it comes from the right place. As in... Uh, when it comes to their intention, it feels like this person has really good intentions towards you. They're very kind, very compassionate, again, very genuine. And the hangman here is in reverse. I feel like for some of you, um, once you realize or once they realize that this connection is genuine, somebody is going to take the relationship to the next level, right? See this person in a different perspective, but in a good good way so we've got the devil here this person may be a capricorn five of swords ace of swords the devil okay so when you meet this person pisces some of them they could still have some lingering past okay that they could be haunted with people that people also people that's what i'm getting because page of pentacles here is the reverse they could still be connected with somebody from their past um, that they're trying to get rid of. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. But this person can be very manipulative. They may be holding, um, either if they have a child or children together, or there's something, maybe it's the child or children, but may not always mean that. But the devil also, it's like holding them hostage, okay? In a very manipulative way with the five of swords. But I see them successfully with ace of swords here, cutting this person off and then start this new relationship with you. And we've got the ace of wands. Yeah, two aces, definitely starting a new relationship with this person. And I feel like this connection is not just about love, not just about physical attraction. I feel like, again, it has more of a long-term plan that both of you may be planning together. Uh, in terms of how to build this connection. Um, definitely sensing both of you will be um, maybe talking about your goals, okay? What you expect in this relationship. Some of you might actually marry this person or be married to this person and that uh, both of you might actually have children. I feel like if both of you have children, it'd be, there'll be two, okay? One boy and one girl. And we've got the lovers here and the seven of swords and lovers. Yeah, I feel like this person is very honest, very honest. I feel like they've been mistreated in the past a lot by people around them. Again, it's because they they are very kind and compassionate and generous. But, uh, but the lovers is here. I feel like they're going to be making a choice to cut off people from their past. I feel like when both of you start a relationship together, both of you will be cutting some people off from your life, okay? Um, because now both of you have a vision and a goal together, uh, ambition as well, that both of you, I feel like, are going to build together, okay? It's something that both of you will be working on together. And you may not have enough time for your friends. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here as well. But the lovers indicate also in a, a very good uh, physical intimacy, satisfying physical intimacy. And the devil here feels like both of you are going to be very busy in bed as well. <laughs> and the king of wands here is in reverse this is the fire sign aries sagittarius leo but i feel like pisces there's always going to be i don't know a somebody somebody whom is going to give this person some problems and it might affect you a little bit that's what i'm seeing here but i feel like uh all of that those those people those issues i feel like it's going to be solved eventually uh both of you will have this fresh start and you got three aces here definitely a new beginning where you need to or this person also it could be both of you needing to cut something off from your past it could be a place that you used to live with or it could be friends that you used to hang out with or exes that you could still be talking with or that they could still be talking with i feel like all of that's gonna be uh eliminated <laughs> And I feel both of you are going to start anew, okay? Some of you might be moving together, uh, relocating, um, or moving in together. 
um, or traveling together, all right? And uh, Pisces, I feel like you're very attracted to this person as this person is equally as attracted to you. All right, Pisces, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my travel channel. And the second one is from this channel. It has all of the readings I've ever done um they have different questions there are different questions different topics if you guys would like to check it out if not it's fine too pisces and i'm gonna wish you guys again a very happy new year and hope to see you back here um as soon as possible all right take care pisces bye